Hi, it's Dr. BCW. Let's talk about cervical cancer. This cancer affects thousands of women every year. And one of the challenges is that the early stages of cervical cancer often have no symptoms. That's why regular screenings are so important. They are usually the only way to detect cervical cancer early. As the disease progresses, symptoms like abnormal vaginal bleeding, pain during intercourse, and pelvic pain may appear. Of course, if you experience any of these, please consult your healthcare provider. Cervical cancer occurs in the cells of the cervix, the lower part of the uterus that connects to the vagina. And the most common cause is human papillomavirus, also known as HPV, a virus that is so common that most people get it at some point in their lives. In fact, HPV has impacts well beyond cervical cancer, and I'll be doing a dedicated video on HPV soon. Thankfully, not all HPV infections lead to cervical cancer, and there are effective ways to help prevent and detect it early. The best way to prevent HPV is with the HPV vaccine. This vaccine was first introduced in the U.S. in 2006. It is a powerful tool in preventing HPV infections, and as a result, lowers the risk of developing cervical cancer. It's recommended for preteens, but if you're older and haven't been vaccinated, please talk to your healthcare provider about your options. As I mentioned, early detection is critical. PAP and HPV tests can detect precancerous changes in the cervix, allowing for early intervention, which is usually accompanied by better outcomes. The American Cancer Society recommends cervical screening at age 25. Individuals aged 25 to 65 should have a primary HPV test every five years. Remember that early detection is critical, so just like your regular mammogram, make sure you get a routine pap smear and HPV test as well. Just know that you are your best health advocate. Regular checkups, vaccinations, and awareness of your body are key, so empower yourself and encourage the loved ones in your life to stay informed and get regular screenings. This is Dr. BCW. Thank you for watching Beyond Clinical Walls. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. If you found this information helpful, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. It really helps the channel. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support.